Cześć wszystkim, nazywam się Paweł Buczek, witaj na kanale Na Muchę, za mną jest Kruganen. Łowiłem już tu kiedyś przepiękne miejsce położone w Walii, jest to są jeziora dwa, jedne jest zarybiane, drugie nie. Te za mną jest znacznie większe, gdzie występują same pstrągi brązowe, a kawałek dalej jest zarybiane pstrągami tęczowymi oraz brązowymi. Serdecznie zapraszam na film. So that is the Kruganen Lakes, uh, the other one, it is brown trout, here behind is another one which I really love to go to, it is uh, stocked by rainbows, they are much more smaller, they are rainbow mountain rainbows, and that is the place when you buy the tickets from, and it's on the side of the road, uh, price it is 24 pounds in the whole day, and I can take it to fish with me which I'm not planning to, I prefer much cash and release but it's amazing, unfortunately the weather is a little bit crap but later on it's supposed to be a nice and sunny I still want to try because I fished it here before and I absolutely love that place ready to go, set them myself as usual I got the Orvis uh, Echo Center 9.5 with uh, floating light 5 and the two dry fly on it and the other one is Super uh, Supra Sigma from Shakespeare and it's the same length but it's only one difference the other one is set up as an intermediate line and that is a place when I go into a little bit rough weather I got hope later on will be condition changed but I don't mind because I'm full waterproof so I'm not worried at all I need to go here behind the gate I used to fish here before, so I exactly know where to go to. Down there in the corner, it is a boathouse, and it is really lovely to fishing from that corner. But I prefer the other one because you can get into the water, and it's a clear, clear. But at the beginning, I started from the other corner, uh, only because it's well covered from the wind. Yesterday it was raining, where well, I'm well close to the seaside. So the weather in the mountains is unpredictable, but it's brilliant here, yeah, you can see from the distance, it is snowed on there, when I turn around myself, it's a seaside. Just want to jump into this water, I cut some really lovely browns, or rainbows, absolutely amazing. So I will try with two dry, one is a sedges, and the other one is imitation of baza. But both of them floating, so I need to get into the water. Just probably rocky from that side, but a little bit further. Oh, you see the fish stopping. It's a little bit better. Oh, here you go. This casts. Try to get in a little bit deeper. Forget my wading stick, but water is so crystal clear. So I don't need to worry so much about the, the wading stick, just to walk slowly. Oh yes, I'm in. I'm into the water. I see the fish jumps there and try to cast it to it. Hmm, maybe I choose the wrong fly, but last time there was well succeeding in here. So I try move myself a little bit further later. There, which is my favorite spot in here. I'm just walking that way. But there's wind on, wind on my back, so it's much easier to do that way for me at the moment. I see the fish topping a little bit there in the corner. I try to slowly move there. I must be well careful how I'm walking in them rocks. That lake is not really deep. Try 
to slowly retrieve, but I'll try it then a little bit further. There's no one in today. I got a whole lake only for myself. I did promise myself a year ago to come back in here and fish it here again. And I absolutely am full in love with this place. I wish to live a little bit closer to that place to come a little bit often. But it is worth the money. 24 pounds for whole day fishing. It's not really bad and I get access for both them lakes. I can't see any movement on the surface and there will be worth to try there something different which is intermediate line on but I think there will be off to go there because it's sand and it's much more easy access to the water them rocks they're really a bit slippery it is the access here uh, exactly here I can walk all around but it is spongy and with my weight I got a feeling I will be drowning there well spongy oh my god must be a careful how I'm walking in Try to put my feet into the big roots, but it's not easy. Oh god, now is a fun. Oh god, I'm in somehow. Yay. I'm on the other side. I will be try the John's favorite method, which is roly poly. Uh, it's well great in the big reservoirs. I tried it last time in the Cluedoc. And I had a fish after fish on that method. But I really don't, I think I need to change the fly for some different one. Time to time just to hear a wallop next to me. It's well scary when there's no one around. And I know it's a fish. But making me jump, I just see that it's jumping there so really far. Try to cast to it, but can be well scared when they do that. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And so they, whoa! <sighs> the other fly when I put it on, it seems to doesn't work. So try to something like that, which is a, a woolly bagger. Uh, maybe it will be much more bright to them and they will be interested. I will love to try it. I always try it going from the black to white. Eventually uh, I will be got the right color. But there will be the most easy way if they will be asked some local person which kind of fish to put in on in here. Oh, sorry, which kind of fly to chuck into the water to try it. But who knows? Maybe that one will work. I just had a take. Uh, on the green woolly burger, really flashy one. I had it a couple of takes, but I missed them all of them. Still on the green woolly burger. But I start thinking to move myself a little bit further. And after the lunch time, if I can't catch anything in here, I can move myself to the other lake, which is right behind and try it on the brown trouts. Apparently the brown trouts there, they are not stock. So they are completely wild. So there will be a nice, nice chance if I can't catch there anything here, I will move myself there. First fish of the day. Jesus, after two hours still on this green bag, woolly burger. Try to not lose it. Oh, quite strong fish. They're not the massive, like I said, but Sometimes you can expect the really big ones, really lovely fight. And it's a small rainbow. Hey! So, there they are. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And he's gone. Really strong fish. Sorry, I tried to catch another one. That rainbow, what I caught it earlier, is about the two pounds. So then they're not the massive. I think I will be need to change the leader for something smaller because the uh, six pound leader, what I got, I think is a little bit too big and just, the, I think they see the line, that's what's going on. 
So well, I think it will be worth it to change that for something tinier than that. Looks like it, my companion just arrived. Then John's car is there. I hope they will be come to fish with me for a little bit. But even so, I need to go there and say hello to him. There it is, my fishing buddy. <laughs> Exciting coming here, isn't it? When oh. you, you get go down the road there, you look and you think, oh my god, this is lame. If anything comes the other way, <laughs> well, thank you, nice. thank you for the help. How was the journey? Um, Did you find it? I found it easy. It's just uh, you know coming coming up that road that uh -huh. way. It's it's real small, isn't it? It is. Some of the turns are it is. tight. It is. Them uh, them oh, corners. Strudel's face. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we've done this before, we know where we're going. Did yeah, you have any fish? yes, I did. I headed one rainbow. Oh, lovely. And it was about two pounds, maybe two and a half. Oh, smash it. Not the massive one. I had a couple of takes. Yeah. And the funny is that everything was to take it, it's just well deep and going on the green color. So, like a, a little bugger down now. That's what I was putting on. I was putting a yeah. woolly burger and I had a fish on and I had a couple of nibble. So, it's not really bad. But I just think I move myself well close to the boathouse only because it's well coming from the wind. There's no blowing at all there and it's nice and warm. That place when I was standing on is side wind. Uh, you can feel it, it's cold. The large lake, look, is the one with the other lake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and it's large lake, wild brown only. Fly, Fly spinning. spinning. Beautiful places for us to come fishing. This is Craganan. Lakes above Dalgesley and Wales, not far from Barmouth. It's two and a half hours for me to get here, but you can see by the, the, the way the mountains are, it's really high up here and uh, usually it's pretty windy, always wet. But uh, today, Pav's uh, got the whole lake to himself. This lake has got um, wild browns and stock rainbows in it. He's already had one fish uh, on a on a green lure intermediate. There isn't anything topping, there's no hatch because it's not very warm. It's only 13 degrees in the car on the way here, which isn't very warm for end of May. So we're not going to get a great hatch. So it's going to be down in. The other lake is the big lake and that one's um, got wild browns in it. And uh, you can you can spin that or worm it if you if you so wish. That one's 15 quid and you can take two brace, that's four little browns if you wanted to. This big one you can take take four uh, rainbows, but uh, I don't know if you'd want to take them. A stock from Churk, there's some beautiful fighting fish, just finding them. My Pav says they're really really deep today and uh, it's quite a big piece of water. You can get a boat um, for ten pound, rowboat, and you might go out in the middle and drop an anchor and fish off that. And uh, that might be the answer. Do the sinking line on and try and get down to him. Anyway, we'll see how he gets on, and we'll try the the brown trout a bit later. Is that your intermediate line or your floater? Intermediate. Oh, okay. them walking stick. Oh no. That I will say to myself, it's well difficult when you go in my own. Yeah. If you take a bath, yeah. you will be becoming rescuing <laughs> Nobody come and get you out. And perhaps trying his luck there in the intermediate line. You can wade that far out. It's very slippy underfoot. That's the only problem. But it drops off very sharply just in front of him there. So he's fishing in quite deep water, although it's not... Uh, He's not getting it far out, he's casting along the shelf because we are thinking maybe the fish are lying on the shelf and coming up, coming up from the deep pump along the shelf there. It's, uh, we're right by the boathouse and there's a deep channel in front of the boathouse, obviously so they can get the boats in and out, so it might be worth just trying in there and see if they're hiding in that channel. We'll give it a try in a minute. So what do you think, John? Why they don't want to take it from the dry? Because they 
that last week was that much warmer and brighter. Mm -hmm. If there was any sort of aquatic insect life about, mm -hmm. that's when it would have hatched. And also I think a lot of it would have been blown in off these fields. Because I remember last time we were here, they were taking daddies that were being blown yeah. in. And, uh, and of course they're not going to hatch. No insects are going to hatch when it's this cold. So, uh, the well, it's not really cold. Down. It is 13 degrees, so it's not really, really the greatest weather condition. No, no, no. I see that earlier fish were stopping from the top, but I couldn't find it what they actually take yeah. until I was seeing it. They take it something like really like tiny, like a grey moths. Yeah, yeah. Moths. Little, moths. Little moths. Yeah. But there, you can see there's not a great deal of action going on. No, no. It's we come here completely cold. flat. Yeah. And I'm just thinking to myself, just go for the lunch and try the other lake on the brown trout if they're not going any, yeah. any good in here. The brown is a well, usually a bit more active. Yeah, well, they're going to be hungry. Yeah, but that place, they have a brownie as well, but they are stock brownies. And the other lake, like a completely wild brownies, so yeah. I'm more looking for it. That is the other lake and John will be using my rod, I live in the intermediate line uh, to John and I try to get into the water, Ooh, he will be well sweat on me because he's quite really deep, for me it's alright because I'm waterproof, I can get into the water. John, John, put the waders on, yeah. yeah, two daddy long legs, exactly, well similar to each other. One is completely black, second is black with a green tail on. And we see how they go with that one because I know the brown trout, they really like it. Daddy long legs, so I'm curious how they will be going. It. I got a brownie. He was taken a really funny way, but I knew it. They would be happen. Really small one, not the massive one. Yay! Oh, really tiny tindler. Come on. Yep, wild brownie. It is in. Nice brownie. Really lovely. They're not massive. Because they're really high lake. And he's gone. to cast a little bit there. Looks like it's much more deeper. Looks like it's the same size than previously. Hey, jumpy. Yeah, that did not like. Hey! And another beautiful brownie. Tiny, the same size like previously. Really lovely fish they are. <laughs> so tiny they are. Such a cutie. Give you a fish, kiss kiss. Oh, you go to the water. Whoa, well quick. This film is called Mr. Buchek Takes a Bath. No! Yes, go. <laughs> Yeah, is it? Use your rock as a waiting stick. Good plan. Working? Working. It works. Hello everyone. Hi guys. John Kruger. I love that place. You do? You love it. I know. I was looking for it and I was fished it on two. Yeah. One on the small one which is stuck by the rainbows. And I caught in one. Yeah. And it was really difficult because you see by yourself. Yeah. He was fishing me with on the other one. Yeah. And there was that lake, I think the largest one, is not stocked at all. They're completely wild. These ones, ones, yeah, they're little wild brown, there's no stock fish in there. And I was more sticky so seeded on that one than on the other one. How many did you have? I had it three in total, but it was really only tiny, not the big ones, but obviously they are, I would be called the brown brook trouts. Well, no, the brown trout, but they are golden. Yeah, and they're yeah, really, they are really, really colorful now. Yeah. yeah, and tiny. Yeah, they're not very big. But they do fight well for their size. Yeah, they are. You had it? 
one. I say I'm the winner today. You are, you always win the Tiddler match. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm glad. I had a good road with me and good company. Yeah. So thank you very much, John, Cheers, to come boys. to see me. And I really recommend that, that place if there is obviously good weather condition. Now sun comes out when we decide to go. Yeah. Always like with you. Always like when there was any kind of condition. <laughs> we have fog, we have rain, I'm still soaked. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Always, always, always you can come with you. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny lines everyone. Cheers guys.